The remarks by Prince Charles come amid growing calls, especially among the Caribbean states, to become republics and elect governments on all levels. About 15 sovereign states, including Canada, New Zealand and Australia, are in the Commonwealth and are headed by the British monarch as their head of state. The Prince of Wales, who took over the reins of the Commonwealth in 2018, says it is up to the members to decide to remove the Queen as the head, as Barbados did last year. The Commonwealth contains within it countries that have had constitutional relationships with my family, some that continue to do so, and increasingly those that have had none. I want to say clearly, as I have said before, that each member's constitutional arrangement as republic or monarchy is purely a matter for each member country to decide. The benefit of long life brings me the experience that arrangements such as these can change calmly and without rancor. But as I said in Barbados last November, we should never forget the things which do not change. The close and trusted partnership between Commonwealth members, our common values and shared goals, and perhaps most importantly, the strong and enduring connections between the peoples of the Commonwealth which strengthen us all. The Commonwealth leaders are meeting for the first time in four years to deliberate on ways to make the bloc more resilient against poverty, inequality, unemployment and the impact of COVID-19. The Commonwealth we need is on the front lines of global challenges, not on the periphery, watching events unfold. Our special strength is to bring issues into focus that we might otherwise be overlooked. The two-day closed-door executive sessions of the Commonwealth leaders are also to consider strategies for debt sustainability, climate change, trade and food security. Blanche Corres, NBC News, Kigali, Rwanda.